Uh, Carla Jean Lauder. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, can you guys hear me now? All right, great. So normally when I'm driving down Storo Drive with MapQuest directions in my hand that are kind of crumpled up because I've been holding them on the steering wheel, that's not a situation I would describe as being excited. You, that is in a situation in which I am frustrated and confused and don't have a GPS because it's 2007 and I don't know what a smartphone is because they don't exist yet. But in this situation, I was on my way to meet a celebrity. And I am not the type of girl that's talking about, like, this is not George Clooney. This is not Brad Pitt. This is a beer celebrity. Now, I write about beer. Uh, been writing about beer since 2007, um, so about eight years now. And back in about 2007, 2008, there was this thing called Twitter, and I figured out what it was, and I figured out how to use it. And I started talking to people online about craft beer and how awesome it was and the beer that we had here versus the beer that they have in California and Washington and Oregon and all these places. But in the beginning of Twitter, it wasn't you know, people who paid PR firms to craft that perfect message, to put that perfect tweet out you know, by their assistant. It was basically people, it was everybody, and everybody was on the same level. So you had people like me, craft beer fans and you know, novice bloggers, talking with people who owned gigantic breweries and were hugely influential. So I got to meet online these really cool, important people, and I was on their same level. So I thought this was awesome. So I'm sitting here at home being all confident about New England beer and talking to all these people back and forth, and I find out that there's this conference called the Craft Brewers Conference. It's actually happening next week, but uh, this was back in 2008. It was in Boston. So I'm sitting here in New Hampshire going, all of these brewers are going to be in one place in Boston. That is the coolest thing ever. Because these are people that you know pioneered craft beer, made it possible for us to drink the types of things they've got on tap here. And I'm sitting there going, they're all going to be within like an hour and a half drive of me. That is the coolest thing ever. So I go onto Twitter, and I type about how excited I am that everybody's coming to Boston as if I'm going to participate in this conference. I'm not. I can't. I'm not a brewer, and I can't afford to just show up and hang out with brewers. But I get a tweet back from the head of Stone Brewing Company. So this is Greg Cook, um, wicked cool guy. He's one of those, you know, you know, uh, entrepreneurial, you know, kind of savvy guys, wears the t-shirts with the blazers over them and the nice jeans. And he is also pioneering. He was from San Diego. Their brewery is all about fizzy yellow beers for wussies and, you know, just awesome attitude about beer. So he tweeted me and goes, oh, well, a bunch of us are hanging out after the conference on Thursday at this bar in Cambridge. You should come down. And I went, well, okay. I, oh, sweet. So I jump in my Chevy Cavalier with my MapQuest directions, and I'm trying to make my way down to this bar. I eventually find it there. Usually on my way to Cambridge, I'm usually crying by the time I get to the bar just from the driving, but this time I found it, and I beat him there. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I order a beer and stand in there like I'm like cool. And, <laughs> and he comes in with a couple of other people and comes over to me, and I had this whole thing. I was going to like ask him how the conference was going and what Boston beer was he drinking. And I managed to blurt out, hi, I'm the beer babe and I made it, I'm here. <laughs> to which he replied, there you are. <laughs> now, he put his hands out, and I don't know if the video can see this, he put his hands out like this, and my vapor-locked brain interpreted that as this. <laughs> so I came in for the most awkward hug I have ever given a human being. You know, kind of one of those like around the... And I can only imagine that from a third party, he must have been hugging me like, who the hell is this crazy lady? <laughs> Said maybe 10 more words to each other and he did that thing where you step two away. Two steps away from whatever this weirdness of the interaction is. <laughs> so I finish the rest of my beer, and I get back in my Chevy Cavalier, and I go home. <laughs> like, I was totally mortified by my own awkwardness. And what it taught me, once I got all the way back, this postscript to this, I've actually met him later on and been more confident later, but what this actual incident taught me was that for all my confidence online, the bottom line was, I'm not an extrovert. I just play one on the internet. <laughs> <laughs>